We all have things that drive us crazy, but we understand, right? Like, I hate that it's snowing and 15 degrees outside right now, but I understand. I hate that this industry is convinced that multiplayer is all that matters, but I understand. I hate that Sweden's in flames sounds like a prepubescent emo band these days, but I understand. And as much as I advocate mobile gaming, uh, specifically iOS gaming, there are a few things that drive me crazy about it too. Case in point, the notion that paying for a product is a process that should be incremental and can be extended over a given period of time. This drives me crazy, but again, it's something I understand. It just also happens to be why Toy Factory is a really good game, but... That's a, that's a big but, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Toy Factory is a brand new app store release from Chilingo that essentially mixes Rudolph's Island of Misfit Toys with a dose of good old fashioned American capitalism. The world's forgotten toys are evidently tired of waiting for Santa Claus, so they decide to put the bastard out of business. So they pick themselves up, crawl out of the dumpster, and start a toy shop. Now their goal is to make toys that will never be forgotten. Evidently oblivious to the fact that if they would have expressed these ambitions to their former owners, well, there's not a kid on this planet who would have thrown them away. Toy Factory is basically a kind of manufacturing and management game. You have the factory, and you have a shop, and what you make in the factory, you sell in the shop. So the game boils down to making supplies, building toys, and growing your business. But everything you do in this game costs money. So for example, if you want to place a table in your storefront, you have to pay for it. The good thing is you earn a fairly steady income from selling your toys, so it all works out. I mean, that, that's how capitalism works ideally. You earn money for providing goods, and by investing money back into your business, you can earn even more. The problem is that Toy Factory throws in a third factor. You see, things don't just cost money in Toy Factory, they also cost gems. And unlike the money you earn, uh, which represents the fair transfer that is the core of capitalism, these gems are as imaginary as the, the floating islands capitalism's strongest defenders like to pretend actually exist. Now, these gems are like a tax you have to pay on top of your money to buy stuff. Gems allow you to speed up the manufacturing process too, but the problem is, this game is f***ing impossible to play without buying gems. For example, it takes hours to make certain materials for your toys. Literally hours. But of course, you can bypass that deliberately insane waiting period by buying gems with an in-app purchase. Now again, this is something I understand, right? These games are very cheap, a lot are even free, so you have to make money somewhere. The problem is, it's also very annoying to have a game that is deliberately impossible to play without throwing extra money into the hat. And I get it, I, I really do. That doesn't mean it isn't kind of ridiculous. That's the thing about this game though, because Toy Factory is great. It's a lot of fun to manage your shop, and the fact that you also have to make your products is actually kind of rewarding. There's a lot of stuff to add to your business, lots of customization, even a fun art style. And if you don't mind buying gems at the rate of, oh I don't know, how about $30 for a thousand, you'll get to experience all of it. 